Good morning, I'm on a train, as you can see. I'm on my way to see my dad. First time in absolutely ages. If you saw yesterday's vlog, you will know that my dad has recently had a hip replacement. And when I say recently, day before yesterday recently, and he's being allowed home today. So I'm gonna go there and intercept him and be there to greet him. Hopefully I get there first. Hoping now this is gonna be a fresh new start for him and he can get back to doing all the things that he loves that he hasn't been able to do. I'm gonna sit and relax now and squeeze a bit of language learning in on the train. Time for a little snack. Well, breakfast, Belvitas. Things are starting to look a little autumnal. A few leaves are coming down. They're losing their green. I've actually got something in my bag that I need to post at the post office. It's a bit borderline between whether it's gonna go as a small letter or a large letter, and I don't wanna risk it. So I'm gonna go and have them slot it through the slot thing. <laughs> I was up late last night doing paperwork, had an approaching deadline, and I was looking at my diary, and I thought, I'm gonna to have to just do it tonight until it's done, so. Yeah, so it was a bit of a late one. Hello, I've got something to post. I'm not quite sure if it's a large or a small. I've decided I'm gonna buy him some licorice all sorts and anything else that might take my fancy. I wonder if he'd like a cheese and onion slice. Two for £2.50, nice and hot. I don't know what time he's getting in. Oh, I'm gonna have to turn the, no, I can, yeah. Sorry, world's worst filming. Let's get a couple of those so we can have one each for our lunch. Shut that, keep the heat in. What else might be nice? Oh, look what's on offer as well. It's one pound, should I get him two? He's been through the walls, yeah, he's my poor daddy. But I'll do, I think, because I've got a feeling he's got loads of fresh fruit and veg at home and I don't want to over buy that in case it goes to waste. Please scan an item or touch the screen to start. Please swipe or scan your membership card. Oh, I haven't got one. Might I have somewhere? Oh, right, scan that. That's that done. Uh... Oh, that was a funny noise, wasn't it? I thought it was a telling off noise. Please scan an item, select another option, or fit. Oops, oh, no bag. Good, those are in my rucksack. Right, let's see if he's in or not. I just don't know what time he's gonna be released into the wild, as it were. So he might get there before or after, he's gonna get a taxi. I'm in and I am here first. He did send me a message, he said, you'll get there first. It was a bit cryptic, so I don't really know how long he will be. But there's something I forgot about. Look what's under the sofa legs proper uppers somebody came over somebody you know medical and they propped things up because he has to be at a certain height for sitting down at first while he's recovering so i think there's probably something on the toilet seat as well i haven't had a look yet so there's one on each leg of the sofa there yes <laughs> Are they taking the time? I'm not going to show you dad's toilet because I think there are limits to what you need to share of your family stuff. But um, yeah, they've taken off the original seat and they've replaced it with one that's kind of, yeah, higher. <laughs> and he's had to swap bedrooms with Izzy as well because Izzy's bed is higher than his. So temporarily he's going to be in there. It's just the sitting down and getting up, I think. Oh, and there's a thing appeared. Now, something that is most mysterious is the kettle is gone. Where is the kettle? You know, this is a British household. We can't be kettleless. What's going on there? I'm going to have a hunt for it. <laughs> Not that I need a cuppa right now. Hmm. Well, Izzy's been here, so <laughs> this could be to do with Izzy. What have you been doing, young lady? Very odd. In the days leading up to the operation, he had a weird washing routine to go through. And I've got a feeling he had to do this each time and then it got postponed, you know. So he's very anti-microbed <laughs> by now. Well, I've got a couple of things I need to do anyway that I would be doing at home if I wasn't here. And I love this day and age of Wi-Fi and internet and all that. So I just need to pay for a couple of lessons for Isabel, one that she's done and one that she will do. And what else? 
oh I've always got editing to do I've got my laptop in the bag of course so I'll sit down and do some of that well it's an hour later now I've edited everything I've done so far and that's how long it took me still no sign of him I had a chat to somebody downstairs because I thought it was dad coming in through the door and ended up having a lovely chat with a guy <laughs> who lives downstairs who I'd never met before but I have now I'm gonna eat my pasty I think and uh watch a vlog or something Let's see what happens uma mania muito muito bizarra de muitos alunos okay then in I'll have a cup of tea there's not much milk left I've just noticed I might have to go out and buy some it's just coming up to two o'clock he's still not here but he's just messaged to say he's leaving shortly I, meanwhile, what did I do? I did some more language learning with a cup of tea and then I came over really sleepy. But I remembered that on my to-do list for ages now and I've been shunting it from day to day to day. It's find out how to be an executor of a will. I am on at least one person's will down as an executor. Probably up to three, I'm not sure. Anyway, I just thought, I've been thinking for a long time, I don't want to get to the point when someone's just died and then have to figure it all out. So I've been watching some videos about that. Disable it and as you can see, you can now zoom in and adjust the keyframes better. It's hours and hours later now. I've been having a jolly good chat to my dad. I haven't seen him moving so fast in ages. I mean, it's not that fast, but compared to what he has been, I'd say it is slightly faster. I'm making a sort of spaghetti dinner. So I've got the kettle on to do the spaghetti in a minute. Anyway, here is the man himself, the man of the moment, <laughs> looking very well. Hello. How was it for you? It was amazing, yes. I couldn't believe in two days, you know, it'd be all done and I'd be up and mobile again. It's amazing. I mean, you're not completely pain-free, are you? No, I was yesterday, but, you know, it's, I think it's just a bit of trauma from the um, operation that's kicking in now. Yeah, definitely. It wasn't there yesterday. But the pain but from all, the all, hip... All the old pain seems to have vanished. Amazing, isn't it? forever, yeah. Like magic. Yeah. So that's been going on for years, hasn't it? Yeah, coming on a good ten years, I'd imagine. Ten years? Yeah. I thought it was about three or four, to be honest. Well, it's, you know, progressively has got worse for me. I don't think everyone has the same path, but that's been my path. It's kind of gone down in steps, levelled up for a while and then gone down again. And it was getting pretty near the bottom. Oh, dear me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you've managed stairs, haven't you? Which yeah. is just as well, oh, yeah. so he's got yeah. some to climb to get into the apartment. Yeah. <laughs> but you managed them yeah. just fine, can, didn't you? Yeah, I can walk around on the flat, okay, with the crutches. And the leg bears your weight. Yeah. So, so what's this thing with the angles? I was telling people about angles and things being raised up. And you seem to be on a yeah. low, you got a, in the low one. <laughs> yeah, there's a danger of dislocating the hip if the angle of the femur is less than 90 to the um, vertebrae. Vertebra? <laughs> yeah. yeah, the back, yeah. Yeah. spine. <laughs> so you mustn't lift your leg up too far, or, or if you're in a chair, you mustn't lean too far forward, so you oh, narrow don't, that don't do it, I'm like anxious. Yeah. I was saying yeah. I'd have a protractor in my pocket at all times. Yeah. I'd be so, <laughs> after all this waiting to get it done. <laughs> so I bet you couldn't believe it when it actually went ahead no. after all that cancellation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't believe it either. I'm still pinching myself. Onwards and upwards now. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I think it's about six months till full recovery, but uh, maybe driving in six weeks is about yeah. what's expected. Yeah, so fingers crossed. Advice to get out every day on the crutches. But they didn't yeah, specify no, the amount, did few they? Yards. <laughs> they just said a little bit and <laughs> build it up. Yeah, few yeah. Minutes. Gradually build it up. Yeah. So, have you got any advice for anybody who might have this on the horizon? Well, it's just amazingly pain free, really. It's, um, it's all the waiting and that is the uh, frustrating bit. Yeah. Once you get to that, you know, the last minute is just a piece of cake. You wake up after surgery, absolutely pain-free, which is a new experience, you know, mm. if you've been suffering this sort of condition. So there you are. Yep. Thank you. He's moved. Yeah. He's, he's doing the rounds. Look, this oh, is yeah. a special yeah. device. What is this, Dad? <laughs> it's a bum swiveller. I'm getting in and out of cars. You sit on it and then you can swivel with very little friction, so... The, the uh, occupational therapist suggested it. I mean, obviously it's just a bag, but um, it's not specifically designed as a bum swiveller. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm intrigued by. Sponge on a stick. It reminds me of the learning about the Romans, but apparently it's for washing your feet with, and there's a picker-upper there. Dinner is served, and there are three of us eating, actually. We've got an Izzy here as well, and a grandad sitting at the table. <laughs> Half 
past eight now. I have just left. Sorry about the shaky footage. Um, I'm gonna go and get the train home now. 10 p.m. and I've just got in. It took me far longer than it should to get home because there was disruption and I couldn't edit on the train at all. So I'm gonna be starting that in a minute. Yeah, 10 o'clock. Anyway, so as you probably saw, I had a tune or two with my dad. I didn't really set out to take my flute, but I was going to unpack it out of my bag to go today. And I thought, no, I'll leave it in. He hasn't played tunes with anybody for ages. He might want to, and he did. So we did. We just went through some that we've both been learning together. Uh, Izzy was being camera woman there. <laughs> uh, Izzy's going to be there tomorrow with him. She's going to be his helper. <laughs> all day i'm probably going to go and work for my boyfriend's company tomorrow this is, we've reconfigured plans now on the journey back i've been messaging him oh yeah yeah anyway so i cooked dinner as you saw just did you know daughterly things like washing up and that sort of thing making sure the toilet rolls were all in the bathroom because it had run out you know just stuff like that because he can't bend down at the moment he's got to as he was saying about that angle, he's got to be careful about it. He can't, he can't swivel either on his foot, you know. He's got to be careful because it could dislocate it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.